Well, it leads us nicely on to, to VAR then, really, Mark. So, I mean, just as a tough question, probably, but do you think, personally, net positive or net negative at the moment VAR's had on the game? What would you say? Well, implemented correctly, mm. VAR is an excellent tool for the game. Mm. Excellent tool. But at, at, at present, in the Premier League, we're seeing too many inconsistencies. Yeah. Too many. But that's not just been this season. That's been since it's been implemented. Yeah, yeah. Because, first of all, when it first came in, the, the, the past management haven't implemented the IFAB protocol correctly. Mm. So, so what is that? So, what do you mean by that, Mark? The well, protocol? well when, when, when we implemented it into the Premier League, VAR were making the decisions. Yeah, yeah. So they were telling the referees, oh, that's a penalty, that's a handball, this is this, this, that, that's a red card. Well, that's not the IFAB protocol. The yeah. IFAB protocol is VAR recommend a review. Then the referee has to go across to the monitor yeah, and then he has to make his own decision. Now, yeah. that wasn't happening in the first few years and, yeah. and, I, and I was very strong on that and pointing this out. And in the end, FIFA and IFAB had to get involved and tell Mike Riley, listen, your referees need to you need to follow the IFAB protocol. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, VAR is there for the absolute howler. The howler. That's what we want VAR there for. I mean, yeah. look at what the other was it a couple of weeks ago? Uh Brentford Newcastle. The penalty, the second penalty yeah, yeah. that Brentford got. Now they looked at that for three and a half minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's no foul there. If you're mm. looking at something for three and a half minutes, how is that a clear and obvious error? Well, you're looking for a foul at that. You, you, you know, yeah. you look at that. I mean, you take like, I mean, I'm talk about Leeds Liverpool, okay? Yeah. Me, yeah. you look at that, all right? Trent Alexander Arnold, okay? The Leeds player goes to clear it. Mm. He moves his arm deliberately yeah. to, to the ball. One, two, balls in the back of the net pass. So that has to be, I mean, obviously, you look at the referee, Craig Pawson, is he the wrong side so he doesn't really see it? So you mm. look at that. Is for me and VR, is that a clear and obvious error? Is that in the phase of play that leads up to the to the goal? Because play hasn't been reset because there have been no challenges. The opposition haven't touched it. So you're looking at two passes in the back of the net. Yeah. So that is VAR can check that because yeah. it's in that that goal, that, that hand, deliberate handball is in that phase of attacking play. So for me, yeah. Yeah. That should be a recommended review to the referee to go and have a look, say there's a deliberate handball in that attacking phase of play. Let's agree. Yeah, to me, I think if he has a, if he has another look, yeah. that goal gets disallowed. Listen, I know, I know that was the first goal. You don't know. It's, it's, goal, a, it's yeah. a big key match incident, isn't it? So yeah. I mean, listen, there's no blame attached to Howard with this because Howard has got a massive, massive job. He can't just come in. And change things overnight. You've got to wait. You've got to wait to the end of the season. He's got to. He's got to have a look at everybody in place. I mean, I think personally, I think you know, many many changes have to be made. Um, you know, uh, root and branch of the organisation personally. But listen, how would we know that? He's very experienced. He was an excellent referee. He's an excellent communicator. And I think uh, you know, come the end of the season, how would how was already making strides into you know, but he has. He already said he does want VR into intervening. Yeah. Um unnecessary on subjective um incidents. But yeah, we've got, you know, come the end of the season, but you know, there's many incidents where we, you know, you, you look, you sit, you get you sit everybody down, you look at it and you say, right, this, 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 this is a serious, a clear and obvious of obvious error. Okay. Yeah. This, 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 they're deliberate handballs. This, 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 these aren't deliberate handballs. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's about Clear leadership and direction mm. to 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 the ref to the referees and and I and I and I think now we've got because we've got if you look at it we've got we've got active referees refereeing on a Saturday and then driving to Stockley Park for a Sunday or a Monday game. Mm. I I personally believe we need to get retired ex top referees at Stockley Park or. Have yep. them at the grounds in the trucks. Mm -hmm. So they're all they're all a team. They're all together. They're all a team. Yeah. 
That makes sense. It's a totally, it's a totally different profession to refereeing on a football pitch and sitting in front of a screen for ninety plus minutes. Mm. Yeah. And I think you should have a, you have a, you have a, a body, a group of active referees, and you have a group of retired ex referees that have been at the top, training them up on on VAR. Yeah. And so you know everybody knows, and you sit them guys down, and we, yeah, you, know, you, 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 we do incidents. You know, we put like last night's incident up. You put that up. You put. You know the penalty at Brentford up, and you put the you know the two penalties. I mean, you put you can put numerous penalties up. The one Wolves perhaps I thought should have had again on on Saturday when the goalkeepers come out and clattered, clattered the yeah. Wolves black. You know, yeah. so you got we need to define what is a clear and obvious error and what is subjective. Yeah, and 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 Howard Howard knows what he's got to do. I'm sure Howard knows what he's got to do. Yeah, and then and what about the the kind of transparency of the decision making so as a fan or you know if you don't know what's going on when the referee's in his ear to the VAR I, I, I think that we you know the fans are just as important as anybody else okay mm. and we need to hear I know that the broadcasters can hear yeah but everybody needs to hear what is being said between referee yeah. and VAR. So everybody knows what's going on. They may not agree with the decision that they, they come to, but at least everybody knows and and yeah. and, and respects that the, the, the process of the decision making. Mm. 